Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I, uh... <laughs> you know what? I, I, you would think that I would have learned my lesson last time. And, um... Not failed my mission because of time. So, yeah, I'm, uh... I, I fully take responsibility for that. I know that it is terrible to leave you guys at a situation where I told you guys I was going to do something and then once again I did not do it. Um, it is something I need to get better at. Uh, I, I fully admit that and I do apologize for the inconsistency in my content here. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of bummed about that. I, I could have sworn that I would have had time to do it, but I didn't and that's just kind of how it is. So, um, this episode, we're going to switch gears a bit because a lot of what I've been doing has been kind of the same. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say, screw it. I'm just going to, I know I could sell these, but I'm not going to. I'm going to say, screw it. And once again, I'm going to just say, screw it. And then start fresh because I'm, I'm just frustrated with that. Okay. So what I am going to do though, this episode, I mentioned it before, uh, we are going to head to Trappist. Or Trappist 1, I think. I think it's Dash 1. Uh, let's just do Trappist. Okay, typing with one hand here. There we go. Okay, it selected it, but it didn't select it. Alright, let's go ahead and just route to that. That's going to take a few jumps, and I'm going to have to be very, very careful with my, uh, my fuel. Um, and I am on fastest route, so I think economical would be better for fuel, but fastest, I, I kind of want to get there as quickly as possible. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Now, um, one thing, oh, I have illicit cargo now. Okay. So that's, that's when I'm going to have to sell my stuff. So I, I may come across. Okay. Okay. I may come across some black market stuff here soon, uh, on my travels and I will get rid of my stuff my illicit cargo on my way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in between uh, or jump from here down to there and I'll probably just give you a quick cut of all the jumps that I make. Uh, I'm not going to leave you guys sitting there for too long. Man, that's like an awesome CME coming off that. I thought that was just a little prominence coming off, but that's like a full on CME looking thing. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Uh, yeah, let's get on over to Trappist 1, because I want to check that out, and it's a really exciting discovery in the um, scientific community, so let's go do that. So the cool thing about Trappist and the reason why I'm going down there, uh, Frontier has recently updated the game to reflect the recent scientific discoveries about this system. Now the cool thing about Trappist 1 is it is an ultra cool dwarf star, and it's uh, maybe like, what, 11... I don't know, like 11% of the size, I guess, of our our sun. And uh, the cool thing is, I, I forget exactly how many planets that system has, but three of them are within the habitable zone of that star. So the, the habitable zone, if you're not too familiar with that, is uh, basically the distance from a star where a planet has the uh, possibility to have liquid water. And liquid water is the crucial key uh, for life as we know it. So this, uh, the reason why everybody's so excited in the scientific community about this is that there are three possibilities <laughs> of a planet having life, uh, outside of our own solar system. So, you know, the, uh, the hunt for life continues and this is a good possibility. Now it's, it's not confirmed or anything. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing like that, but you know, it's a good place to look. It's kind of like one of those things where if there's a smoke, uh, if there's a smoke, there's fire. Well, we haven't found the fire yet, but we're seeing some steam coming off of that one. <laughs> or no, it's, it's not even that we're seeing steam. It's like we get a whiff of smoke in that general direction. How about that? <laughs> this analogy is starting to be crappy. Oh wow, look, we are already down here. It took less jumps than I thought. And we didn't even empty out our fuel thing. Our fuel, uh, our fuel, period. <laughs> now 
Now, another cool thing to note while we're jumping here about the Trappist system is uh, it is very, very small. And since the since the star of that system is so small uh, and so like not as dense as our sun, all seven of the it's actually seven planets. I looked it up while we were waiting. Uh, all seven of those planets orbit within the same distance of our system where Mercury is. So if we were to put our system over top of that system, uh, we would, um, yeah, we would find that everything orbits within the orbit of Mercury. Now that I'm here, I'm kind of looking around, and you can see here that everything is just kind of going all, all, all kinds of different directions. Uh, I want to check in and see the system map here. Very cool. Now, as far as the moons go, I'm not sure if that's based on... Oh, man. On actual science, but uh, it might be. Let's see here. So, it's cool how they put uh, <laughs> an actual Earth-like planet there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop over there and see what's up. I want to I at least pass by. I guess I could have selected it. Oh, which I'm kind of heading right to. I think I already scanned, but I want to do it again just in case. Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, I don't have my track IR on today. I'm uh, kind of just flying standard today. I may have forgotten to put it on before I started recording. Okay, I'm going to head out to one of these moons. Oh, um, no, that's not the orbit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to this one. I just want to hop in. I'm, I'm just doing this for exploration's sake because I'm curious. So I'm going to come in on the night side, pass over the day-night terminator, I think that's what it's called. And then uh, the idea is I want to land on the day side so I can see Trappist, I believe 4 is where I am, yeah. Trappist 1, 4, I guess. Oh, that's real cool. And the idea is maybe if I can come in right past that main big crater right in front of us. That would be kind of awesome. Now, I'm coming in at such a shallow angle, I'm, I think I can just hold it straight and be fine. And there we got a glide. I'm hoping we'll make it over to that other little crater popping out. But, uh, we'll find out. I'm kind of just, uh, chilling out here. Nothing too crazy. Here we go. This is nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to touch down here, maybe hop out in the SRB for a little bit. Because I want to kind of peer over the edge into this huge crater. Getting kind of low. Let's go ahead and drop our landing gear. Start kind of coming down. Let's ease it up a bit. I guess I could line it up properly. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? There we go. All right, a little bit sideways. And we're good. Cool. Cool. Now, let's see here. We can't see Trappist 4 from here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, launch our SRV. Nope. Okay, now let's hang out here just for a second. 
just kind of looking around. I guess uh, <laughs> having my track car on right now would be pretty good. It's picking up something over this direction. Or is that picking up my ship? Oh, I was picking up my ship. Okay. slow so I don't go flying off the edge of this. Oh yeah, there are. Nice. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and it shows you the HUD. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. Okay, let's get in here before uh, <laughs> I jump off the edge. By accident, of course. Some big boulders over there. Alright, we're getting close. Oh boy. Okay. I'm starting to ease down into it. I don't think it's going to be quite as sharp as I was thinking. It might be, but if we get over this hill here and it kind of evens out again, then it won't be as as extreme as I was thinking it would be. I should probably not go too crazy. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to kind of nose down into it. This is still really cool, though. Okay, I'm going to take a look around. Actually, let's do this again. Let's get the outside view. And then let's do free, free camera. I love this new camera suite. It took me a little bit to kind of get used to it, but look at that, man. Look at that. It's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. It's almost like a screenshot-esque image there. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can see Trappist 4. Because I thought we came in... There it is. There it is. Here's a screenshot for you. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man. It's crazy. Sideways, but crazy. I don't think I can zoom out any further. Let's see if I can do this and get all three. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> well, yeah, that was awesome. Let's get turned around here. Oh, easy. Now, I did some research uh, from the last SRV catastrophe. <laughs> you guys remember that first episode? It was pretty terrible. Um, I found that... Uh, where is it? Down here, there is a... I should probably look where I'm going. <laughs> there is a uh, return to boarding point or something option. It's not actually an option. It's just an indication of what you need to do in order to board the ship. So it's telling you, instead of the option normally being there to board ship, it switches from board ship to return to, board, uh, return to boarding point. So that way you know that that's what you need to do in order to board the ship. I'm gonna take another. Ooh, easy, easy. Ooh, 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 easy. I'm gonna take another quick peek around just to see if there's anything I can collect, anything of interest. And I'm not really seeing anything on my uh, my HUD here. It's a lot of rocks. A lot of rocks. Okay, let's head back to the ship. Oh, easy. Oh yeah. I guess, uh, gravity, oh yeah, 0.23 G for gravity. Easy to spin out. No traction. Very little traction. Alright, let's, let's, let's do this. See if we can do this. I 
There's a very specific place. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, do to do. Transfer cargo. I have no. Do I have cargo? No, I don't. Oh, I have cargo on my ship. Let's just do worship. All right, that was pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump off of here. I think we're gonna take a quick look around the system. Do uh, full engines. scan it just for scanning sake but uh as far as the actual system goes i think maybe what i'm gonna do is just uh let's see here hold on yeah that's only 32.92 <laughs> light years out i mean this is a very compact system i do want to do a quick grand tour of this because everything is so kind of squished together um there we go it won't take any time to get around Oh, this is crazy. Very, very white planet. Oh, with little streaks of blue. Lots of craters. Very cool. Okay, let's see what's next. This one looks interesting. So that was Trappist 7. This is Trappist 6 we're heading to. Alright, we're coming up on Trappist 6 here. No, well, Trappist 1 6, I guess. But you guys know what I mean. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna kinda dip around this direction because of the the way the service looks there. You got frozen poles, it looks like. And then I'm curious of what this is. I mean, is that like. That looks like a lake. Oh, man. I can almost guarantee that there's going to be atmosphere on this planet, so I wouldn't be able to land on it. I mean, it looks like there's an atmosphere. And there's no blue orbital cruise lines yet, so... Oh man, I can't wait until they add atmospheric landings. I'm sure it's something they're working on, right? Right, guys? Right? <laughs> there's a few other things they need to be working on too, but... Oh, this is... this is pretty pretty. Pretty... pretty awesome. Pretty pretty. Fantastically awesome. How about that? All right, let's get out of here. Let's check uh, Trappist 5. I guess I could be using my navigation thing on the left. All right, getting getting on over to Trappist 5 here. Planet 5. Ooh, easy. Oh, man, look what I did. Look what I did. Yeah, we're going to skirt around it anyway. We're not going to crash into it, though. We're just going to keep it right, right up here. There's a signal source. I haven't done anything other than check out planets this episode, so let's, uh, let's see what this is. And I also degraded emissions. It's just a wreck. Oh, this is interesting. This also looks like it is a an atmospheric planet, too. So, yep. Of course, I don't remember, or I didn't see, uh, which planets specifically were the ones in the habitable zone. It's just three of the seven, that's all I know. Seven? Seven? Five? Seven. Yay. 
I can count to seven. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, navigation. I guess I should reset my filters. Um, we already did four. So let's check three. I'm going to assume that's three. I'm going to assume that's three. Yep, I got three selected. Good. Okay, good. Oh, man. Here's trap is three. Another Earth-like looking planet. So maybe this is one of the ones in the habitable zone along with four. Now, the thing that I'm seeing here is, do you see how close this moon is to the planet? I mean, that may, I think it's on the other side, but still, it's ridiculously close. So, so, just because we're doing a nice little exploration video today, I am going to hop on over here and land on it. Because I want to see that. I want to see that. I want to see it popping up over the horizon. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come to the back side of the, the moon here. Come in probably on the night side. And then pull up. Yeah, kind of like that. I don't know if I'm going to be lined up perfectly, but... All right, guys, uh, pardon that cut there. I came in uh, a little bit too far on the other side. I've actually got my ship powering down here, slowing down at least, uh, cruising, I guess. Check this out, check this out. How pretty is that? That was gorgeous. Man. And then we got the sun over here. Can we get it? There's a shot for you. <laughs> uh, very cool. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and get on out here. We don't necessarily need to land now. That okay, I pushed the wrong thing. God damn it. <laughs> Suck at this game. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and continue our little mini grand tour. It's not really a grand tour. It's like a semi... It's like a, it's like an okay tour. How about that? <laughs> and we're gonna get on out of here. All right, we are now coming up on the second planet in the Trappist system. Once again, looks like a bit of an atmosphere. We're gonna swing around on the night side, it looks like. That's not an impact. I don't wanna do that. Looks like maybe a volcano or a crater or something. Can't tell which way it's pointing up there on the top left. And I couldn't see which way it was poking out, so. That may have been either. Kind of a featureless world. Definitely an atmosphere. Okay, let's, uh, let's get over to the first. That's a pretty sight. Alright, we are now coming on up to the first planet in the Trappist system. And it's right here near the sun. Let's see if I can get into view there. Nope, nope, not, not so much. But uh, once again, it has a very, very close moon. What is this? Just curious. Just curious. Another uh, another shipwreck it lo lo looks like. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and land on Trappist 1 here. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> Trappist 1-1, one, one, I guess. I'm going to follow the uh, Terminator here. I'm going to get a... I want to see what that moon looks like. From the surface. I can't talk. From the surface of this planet. Let's see if we can see from here. Oh yeah, right there. Very nice. I'm coming in a little bit sideways. I'm going to kind of turn into that Terminator, but I want to be a little bit more on the day side than the night side. So let's go, let's see if we can get in between these two little canyons here, or uh, craters.
the sun must have went over the horizon as I was coming down. It's alright, we're, uh, we got lights, we got nav systems, we can see what's going on. Okay, we're coming up on... 1.5. Okay, we got one. I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit. I'm gonna push it down to about 500 first. All right, we can even out, level out, and slow it down. Landing gear. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, that's that's exactly how we do this, guys. That. <laughs> oh yeah, we we can land this thing. We have systems. We have guidance. We also have 0.72G that, you know, I wasn't paying attention to. Man. Okay, that, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was awesome, guys. How about, how about that? How about that? That's, um... Yeah, not not too proud of that. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's take a quick look. Let's see, we got our ship there. We got the moon there. Kind of awesome. Kind of awesome. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave the episode here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this kind of something a little bit different. It was, uh, it was more of kind of an exploratory type episode. If you guys like episodes like this, let me know down in the comments and I'll do more stuff like this. I, I do enjoy exploring. Um, if exploring is something you guys would prefer to see me do more of, um, I'll eventually, eventually work my way up to a nice, uh, was it Asp? I forget if it's the Scout, but... Um, yeah, that one, that one has some amazing range, so uh, maybe we can shoot for that or something. So guys, uh, yeah, once again, kind of kind of frustrated with the way the video started out, and I missed those missions, but I need to get better at that, so we'll work on it. <laughs> uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, kind of okay grand tour. Not really, not really grand, but uh, yeah, it was kind of cool. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care.